Okay, this is the double kettlebell clean. I've got two bells here, uh, equal weights. They don't have to be equal weight. We can use a, an offset load if we're limited by the kettlebells we've got. Now, before I start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the handles in a V pointing back towards me. I like to start it that way because it's going to give me more room between my legs in order to clean the kettlebells into position. I'm going to start with a wider stance than I would normally swing because I'm using two kettlebells. And I'm also standing back from the kettlebells by about a foot so that when I hinge back, loading my heels, I can reach the kettlebells and then tilt them back into a nice position. Okay, I don't want to be in this position too far backwards whereby I'm having to overreach. I want to be able to stand in a good position, hinge back, touch the handles and then tilt my body weight back this way without overreaching so I can load the hips. Okay, so from the front, <clears throat> I'm just going to do five reps. I'm going to be taking the kettlebell handles in the middle or slightly towards one corner, thumbs wrapped over the kettlebell so they're staying out of the way. I'm going to take a breath in, hinge back, hands on the handles, tilt, and into the rack position. Now I want to make sure I keep my elbows nailed to my body, same as we do in a single arm clean. So I'm going to let the bells drop, I'm going to tame the arc, hinge back, breath in, hip drive, breath out. Notice I'm rolling the kettlebells around my wrists, they shouldn't be slamming into the body, we want them to rotate and corkscrew around the wrist. In this position, my glutes are tight. I'm exhaling when my glutes come together. From the side, I'm going to take a breath in. Okay, as I'm dropping the bells, I don't want them to be too deep. So I don't want them to be dropping down here because that's very hard and I also don't want to be doing a lazy swing by not really hinging back. I want to push my butt back so what I don't want is this. I want to be working on training the hinge. So nice deep hinge as we push the hips back so we're in this position, no shallow cleans up here, drop, catch in the hips, nice deep hinge, drive back through. Remember keeping elbows nailed to the body throughout. And that's our double kettlebell clean.